climb it, climb it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, big girl climbing it. Big old girl. <laughs> Just climbing and climbing and climbing it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? You found the rock. You're finding all those rocks, huh? Lots of rocks. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All those rocks, huh? Do you see a bee? The bumblebee. <laughs> I don't know how far they're. Ooh. You okay? Oh yeah, she doesn't have the <laughs> the best shoes too. <laughs> yeah, this is like very slippery terrain. I failed to mention that. Well, I, I figured it would be, but convincing her to wear shoes that she doesn't want to wear. <laughs> she has a mind of her own, and she will enforce it. <laughs> take off your jacket now. You take it off. That's take nice off your jacket. Whoa. 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 Where's Leah? I think Leah's up at the top. Go get her. Go get her, Kaya. Slide. Slide down it. You gonna slide down it? So, I would to go hiking at least like once a week. Yeah. It's getting nice. So Total. Oh, for sure. That's awesome. I totally, totally agree. Um. I was thinking too, like with you and uh, Aaron, it'd be cool. It's funny though, Cooper is not nearly as able to let go of some things as I am. Like, he does not like the fact that I let her use a knife, that I let her cut vegetables. It makes him really nervous. He thinks she's going to cut herself. And I'm like, so what if she does? I've cut myself before. It bleeds, you, you know, you take care of it and it heals. It, yeah. I'm right there with her. I'm not just handing her and saying, have fun and walking away. I'm watching her. This is really yummy. Oh. Yeah, that's...
getting so full from <laughs> I'll take a picture of you and say cheese. Looking like you can actually see the water behind you, so it looks really cute. Yeah. No. What's wrong, Kaya? Are you okay? No. Why? No. Why? No. 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 Are you okay? No. 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 You guys are climbing, huh? This is cool. I'm really glad it, it, it's actually not, there's not much water because these rocks yeah. are full like this. Yeah, Leah's getting some of that climbing out of her system yeah. for the day anyway. This is the kind of rock climbing I always like the best, like more than the idea of just climbing straight up one of the just straight rocks yeah. or something or just hiking on a trail. I love like the boulder stuff. There's a place in Colorado that they have really big boulders you can go through and up and over. It's just like, just a huge, gigantic, gorgeous boulder playground, you know? Have you been to Goblin Valley? I don't think I have that, that I can remember. Awesome. Oh. It's like, it's a uh, sandstone, but it's like, you know, it looks, it looks like goblins. It's the best way to describe it. Oh, cool. um, but you can climb up and down and there's different caves you can get to. Wait, climb. say cheese really quick because it's just really cute. Oh shoot, she already went back down. But yeah, anyways, with you though, it's really pretty with the mountain. Um, yeah, that's okay. awesome. Cool. And like you can either just walk around and look at stuff or you can actually climb up and down in it and stuff. I probably have. My dad took me to like all kinds of stuff like that. That sounds pretty for... Where is it at? It's southern Utah. It's uh, kind of canyon lands, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I probably... It's cool. I used to just fall asleep in the back seat, you know, sprawled out along the seats and just my dad would just go everywhere. Truck and a fifth wheel that they mm. take around with. Mm. Them. Are you close? Uh, Not really. I'm close. I, uh, I'm close. I didn't really know him. Like when him and my mom got the. It's funny because most parents have to like tell their kids to go hike and you can do it and come on, let's go. And these guys just want to hike themselves, you know. Just on their own. I think it is. Is that parents don't normally let them when they're young and then once they reach you know five or six or seven then the parents are like okay go do it and they've never had any experience and I don't want to do why would I want to do that yeah I think we just don't give any credit to toddlers for being capable of doing things yeah <laughs> Good girl. You threw that so far, huh? There's um there's an article I wanna give to you and Aaron to see what you guys think of it. Called like five reasons not to say good job. I know, I <sighs> I know all about it and I hate that I say it. It's like it's like <sighs> second nature that I say it. I'll catch myself too and be like, oh. Oh, you're, that's so funny, you already know that. Yeah, just like. Uh, I've realized though that I, I don't know what else to say. I think that's part of it is that I have a hard time, you know, knowing what to say instead. 
Well, if you're just genuinely excited for her and it's not like you're trying to get her to do it, because obviously it's a natural action and you're trying to get her to do it, she won't want to do it anymore, yeah. you know? So it's like, uh, if you're just genuinely excited, like, I enjoy watching you throw rocks or, you know, like... Yeah, it's really just, yay, it's that's... like learning a new language. Like the whole nonviolent communication thing, it's really, truly like learning a new language. To practice and practice and practice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My friend that's like,